Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. It's Max from the Max Creation. In today's video, we are going to look at what you call Vist visas in Qatar. Yes, we are going to look at Vist visas for family, for relatives. We look at brothers, sisters, and all name it, parents. So, what are the requirements if someone is sponsoring you for the Vist visa in Qatar? That is exactly that we need to know, or that's what we need to understand. Remember, you can apply for the visa visa for your spouse, for your brother, for your sister, for your parents in Qatar. But still, that there's a requirement you as a sponsor, you are supposed to fulfill. Remember, when we talk about the visa visas, some countries have weaver, visa visa weaver, whereby they get visas on arrival. There are some countries that don't have visas on arrival. There are some countries whereby they need to apply for visas online. And the other countries whereby if you need a visa visa, for example, you can be sponsored by a family member. You can be sponsored by someone who's already working and living in Qatar. But under some given amount of conditions that are in place, not everyone, not every resident that is working in Qatar is supposed or can sponsor a family member can sponsor children, can sponsor family to come. It will definitely depend on which kind of nature of work you are doing. That is also another requirement. So the nature of the work that you are doing is going to be facilitated or is going to be backed up by what we call the amount of salary that you are being paid. That is also very very interesting that is another condition because if they definitely make it that everyone or every residence that is living in Qatar can sponsor a family can sponsor a family then definitely some of these Gulf countries or even Qatar or other countries they will have an influx of people coming into the country but there are conditionalities there are definitely conditions that are supposed to be put in place and the salary matters for example, if you are on a visa visa and you're going to sponsor, you are going to sponsor your spouse, your wife and children by blood, definitely your salary should be 5,000 and above. That should be your salary. If you're going to sponsor your wife and sponsor your spouse, or you're going to sponsor your spouse, or you're going to sponsor your children, but remember, it's not all about saying 5,000. Qatarian, but also you'll have to back up by what we call the documents to really prove out that this is your wife and these are your kids. Then if you are going to sponsor other relatives to come and visit for on a visit visa in Qatar, then definitely you will need what you call a minimum of 10,000 Qatarian for you to sponsor your mother, to sponsor your other relatives, and this will be backed up by what you call a salary certificate that will be coming from your company to specify that that is the actual amount of money that you are receiving in one way or the other. Sometimes it can be even what you call a bank statement. So we are going to look at the requirements. What are the requirements that you need to sponsor your wife and children in case you want them to come on a visit visa, in case you want them to come and either live with you because they can work, they can live with you and work under your sponsorship or in case they have what you call vacation or no more uh, everyday visit to come and see, to come and visit you and go back to your country of origin. We want to look at the requirements. What are the requirements for you to sponsor what we call your spouse, your wife or your children in Qatar? For those people that ask that question, one, you'll have to apply for, for, for the visa application through what you call the Metrash. For those people who know the Metrash app in Qatar, it contains all the services that you need to access most of the services in Qatar. So you will apply through what you call the Metrash. It's you apply on online, it can be approved. The steps will be followed, then they will also request from you to attack the relevant documents. Then number two, it is the requirements include the following. You must, up, you must apply what you call the VIST visa application. That can be online or it can be through Metrash. You have to apply for the visa application online. And you need to fill up that form. That form will contain what you call the details. All the details. And make sure that you fill out all the required, the required information. 
that they need of you. Then two, you need what you call a no objection letter from your employer. You need to have a no objection employer from your a no objection letter from your employer. This is going to specify, it's going to be one of the documents that you are going to submit along with other documents for your visa visa for your spouse or your children to be approved. Then you need a photocopy of the company ID for that company that you are working for. If you are working for, uh, if you are working for um, a hospitality company, let's say for example you are working for a hotel company, definitely you will need to have to attach a photocopy of that ID to to to, to specify or to show that you are you are a true employee of that company that you are working for. Then you need a, a photocopy or you need a copy of the passport of the people that are going to visit you. For example, if it is your wife and children, you need photocopies or you need copies of their passports to be attached to be attached on those documents that you will submit for their visa visa to be approved. Then you need a copy of the Qatar ID or you need a copy of your residence permit. You as a person, you the person who is sponsoring, who is applying the visa visa on behalf of the others you are the sponsor then for definitely you need to to attach what you call a photocopy of your Qatar ID or residence permit for those people that call it because it's going to show you or it's going to signify that you are a true resident in that country then also uh, still with something that you need to know you need to attach what you call a healthy insurance certificate you need to attach a health insurance certificate for those people that you are sponsoring. It's your wife and family. You need to ensure they are held for emergencies, for emergencies and things that may broke up. Because remember, they are coming to visit you for a, a short period of time. So definitely you will need that, you need that health insurance for you to, 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 to attach to the document. Then also you will need what you call round trip tickets. What you call the round tickets, we need the return. You will need to attach, uh, you will need to attach the uh, return ticket and the um, the two-way ticket, meaning that they are not going to permanently to stay here, but they will come to this, then probably they, they will go out, they will go back to their country. Most of these countries, they normally want the, a two-way ticket. It's because they do not want uh, to see an influx of people coming and those people are going to be dependent on the economy. That's why they, normally some vis or normally these visas, they normally require you to have what you call round tickets in one way or the other. Then something also what you need to have is proof of relationship. What is your relationship? You need to prove that this is your wife. You need to prove that this is your children or these are your children. It is not proving by having what you call a written letter, but definitely what you're going to have is that you're going to write, you're going to have what you call authorized document, birth certificates for your wife, and you're also going to have birth certificates for your children. Then they can be approved in one way or the other. Then also you need what you call a salary certificate. You need to present what you call a salary certificate. And I told you the minimum salary certificate if you are going to sponsor your wife and children on a visa visa, then that salary salary minimum salary is five thousand that you need to have. So definitely when you have the, all those documents attached in one way or the other, that means at that age then probably you can fill in or you can submit your application for that visa and then you can be given you can be given the visa uh, after under a review of all the documents that are support, uh, submitted then they can definitely give you uh, a consideration and review then they can grant a visa to come for you for, for for your spouse and also your children to come and see you definitely that is what definitely it's all about in one way so i uh, hope i've tried to share out the requirements for you to have Let's wait in uh, another video in part two and you see with which other requirements if you're going to sponsor your wife, if you're going to sponsor your mother, your brother or your sister in another way. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for supporting. It's Max from the Max Creation.